Continue. Verse 4. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. God, the day of vengeance is in the Lord's heart. All right? The Lord's coming back with vengeance. That's, right. That's all throughout the scriptures, man. How he's coming to destroy and kill the wicked, the heathens, and the two-thirds, man. But right now we're getting on Esau, all right? And that's what that chapter's talking about, you Edomites, all right? And the year of my redeemed is come, and I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. And what's their strength? Their army, man. That's right. Most are going to lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, man. All the mighty men shall be brought low. That's right. Okay? All the mighty men of Esau and all the mighty men of these other nations, man, y'all going to get judged by a how shy in that day, man. That's right. That's right. With that, um, let the next brother speak. Who's the next brother? Right? And Shalom. All right? Def, um, um, you know, y'all know. Let's get a seat. You're to have to be mad. Yeah, yeah. Where's my Bible? All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass queendom known as America, which is Babylon the Great in the Bible. All right, before all that, we want to give all praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. That's who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. We want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone right. and peace, blessing, and mercy to the brethren out here pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Right. All right, man, so our people wicked as hell, man. All right, two-thirds of our people are wicked as hell, man. All right, you so-called black, so-called Native Americans, and you so-called Hispanics, all right, and those are confusion to face. Two-thirds of y'all are wicked as shit, man. That's right. And the Lord is going to destroy y'all for y'all wickedness and not hearkening to the words of the Lord, man. Can somebody give me Ezekiel 8 and 7? God, that's and, and, and see, um, y'all think that y'all sins are going to be hid, man. You think that the Lord can't see the things that you do. You think uh, the adultery that you commit behind closed doors and that weed that you smoking, you think right. the Lord ain't seeing none of that, man. Can, can you grab that? Off? God, God, Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 7. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. So an uh, 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 angel was uh, taking Ezekiel, and he was about to show him some things that the children of Israel were doing, man. Go ahead, right. Verse 8. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. Verse 9. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. See, the wicked abominations. He's about to show them things that, that Israel and you heathens do behind closed doors, man. All right, go ahead. Right. Verse 10. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. You see that? So uh, when y'all have y'all feast, y'all got all kinds of wicked animals and abominations in there, especially uh, Moab and Ammon, but we ain't about to go there right now, but y'all got y'all uh, got swine's flesh and y'all love red lobster, and y'all sitting up there, they got idols on the walls. Y'all worship everything under the sun, man. Every last thing that you consider a god, you want to be a part of it. Oh, you know, I might be a Buddhist this week. Oh, uh, I want to be, I want to follow the Kabbalah this week. All right, you know, Israel, two-thirds of y'all wicked as hell, man. And you don't come back to your nationality of power and knowing that you are a child of Israel, you're going to be destroyed, man. Right. Only one-third of his children are going to be able to receive this word. Go ahead, I Con, verse 11. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jazza, Jazza, Naya, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. See that? And so Jezaniah was a, um, a so-called elder in Israel, all right? So that's why, like, these other, these other ABC camps out here, they got what, they, what people consider uh, elders, all right, and apostles. Only true apostles are of great millstone, man, of right. all of Israel, man. Right. These other nations out here, they, they go behind closed doors taking filthy lucre, taking money, all of these things uh, leading, leading uh, the, the children of Israel to the, to the slaughter, man. 
all right? Serving all of these false gods behind closed doors. Come out and say, what did what the Lord say? They uh, they speak to me by their by in, in public, but behind closed doors they do a different thing. Um, can somebody get uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter three, chapter three? Right. You know, and, and, and see, the, the children of Israel, man, y'all wicked as hell, man. And that's why you got precept. The children of Israel, wicked as hell, man. Two thirds, and so that's why if our people don't get receive this word, man, you're gonna be left out. You're gonna be destroyed by the chariots of the Lord, man. The chariots of the Lord are coming back with full power, man, to get busy in these streets. All right, just like y'all visualize Esau getting busy in these streets with his tanks and his military might. Can somebody get Nahum two and four? But go ahead, get your precept real quick. All right, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start at ten. Fine. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, verse ten. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Con, so you people are going to be punished out here, man. You have forsaken the Lord. You follow different doctrines uh, according to Esau, these so-called white people's judgment. But you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, liter the Bible is literally your history book. That's right. Literally. All right, so you people like to go to y'all schools and like to get your education, these so-called degrees. The word education is the training of cattle. All right, so y'all going to these schools, man, looking for wisdom, looking for knowledge and understanding. But the Bible is not a religious text. All right, religion goes back to the Greek word religios, which means to divide. All right, this Bible is about bringing together and unifying one third of the children of Israel. All right. And but but y'all ain't gonna hear that. You're not gonna hearken into the words of the Lord, man. Right. All right, can somebody get that Nahum two and four? The book of Nahum, chapter two, verse four. For the Lord hath turned away the excellency. Nahum two and four. I mean two. Oh, it's like I got it right here. Uh, Nahum two and four. The chariots shall rage in the streets. They shall jostle one against another in the broad ways. They shall seem like torches. They shall run like the lightnings. Con, so these, these, the chariots of the Heavenly Father, somebody get that sign for me? The chariots of the Lord, man, right they're about to jostle in the streets, man. They're about to get busy and bring all kinds of fire and a, uh, this concentrated beam upon this place, man. All right, because the children of Israel, you heathens, will not hearken into the words of the Lord, man. No matter how many weeks we come out here, no matter how many things we tell you, you people do not know where you belong, man. You do not know your culture. You do not know who your power is. What's up, man? That sign over there that's always there. Which one? Can you turn it off? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, so, in, according to the Bible, that's the picture that they've been depicting as who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right? So, when you see, automatically, you'll see devil horns on it. But that man is Caesar Borgia or Cesare Borgia. All right? He's not, that's, according to the Bible, that's not a true depiction of how the Lord looks. All right? These so-called white people have put that image uh, upon the four corners of the earth to uh, show what he is. Can somebody get Job 9 and 24? Do you guys, do you guys know where, uh, first of all, he's not Jesus. His name is Joshua. That's not his name. That's not his, That's name. Not his, name. Not his name. All right, so... so uh, let, me, let me finish. Let go me ahead. Finish. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. So, uh, where do you think uh, Jesus was born? Like physically on earth? Yeah. You uh, Tell me, where was Jesus? Middle East. Right. Right? Right. So he was not white. Absolutely. With blue eyes. Mm -hmm. He was dark. Right. With sheep hair like look at so who, 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 who on the face of the earth have sheep like hair woolly hair uh you know uh i have black uh, okay know, so, uh, so just like this right just look, look like at this look at, look at these brothers right look at this brother's hair all right so yeah. can somebody get revelation one and four but it was not black it was middle eastern he, okay all right we about to get this revelation all right this is the book of revelation one in verse 13. Good. it's revelation one and one the revelation I'm going to say it verbatim. Verbatim, all right. It's a revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay, so do you know what revelation means? What does revelation mean? Revelation means to reveal. So he's about to reveal how Jesus Christ, his appearance. Let me ask you, which... Uh, which, uh, which Hold on, we're going to finish, and then we're going to go hey, question hey, by question. Hey, we, hey, we run this Yeah, here. topic by so topic. We're going to speak, and then... You speak. Yeah, topic by topic. Yeah, go, yeah, ahead. go ahead. This is Revelation 1 and 1. It says, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which, the, which God gave unto him to show unto him unto his service things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and, sign and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay, so John is about to give the revelation of how so-called Jesus Christ looks. Okay, okay I'm going to turn out to verse 13. It says, In the midst 
in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Okay, so he had one of these garments on, clothed down to the foot, all right? Yeah, I know that. It okay. says, and, and girt about the pats with a golden girdle. He had a golden girdle around his waist, all right? You, in the old times, they were used it yeah. for war, all right, to fight against. Verse 14, it says, his head and his hairs were white like wool. All right, so the Lord had white woolly hair, all right? White showing his wisdom and his power, all right? But the wool, he had that, like you said, sheep-like hair, woolly hair, which yeah. the only people on the face of the earth are known to have that hair, all right? So we know it's so-called black people, but we're going to keep going. So we can show his color. It says his head yeah. and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right, so his eyes were as a flame of fire because in Genesis, uh, the 49th chapter, when Moses was prophesying about the Lord coming, he said he drank, his eyes would be red with wine. So the Lord wasn't a drunk, but he drank a lot of wine, all right, because of all the uh, grievances that he had. All right, verse 15. And he's coming back pissed off, too. That's another reason. Go ahead. Verse 15, it says, in his feet, like unto fine brass. All right, so if you look at a man's feet, his it's going to be very similar. If I look at your feet, they're going to be similar to the color of the rest of your body, correct? All right? So he says, like unto fine brass. So do you know what color brass is? I got it, I got it. All right, so the, the closest thing I can tell you, brass is a derivative of brown. All right? So if you call it a penny, a penny is copper, which is very close to brown, all right? So that's that's what the color is. But just in case people might be confused and say he might be olive skinned just because he's from the Middle East, they go on to say something else about his brown skin. Hold on, then I'm gonna let you speak. After this last I'm one, hold on. after this last one, then I'll let you go. All right, go ahead, finish that. That's a penny. So that's the that's the closest I can tell you about the color of brass, brown. But just in case there is any confusion, go ahead. This is Revelation 1 and 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. All right, so if you take that penny and you throw it into a fire, it's going to come a very dark brown, all right? And those Middle Eastern, they don't, they're not going to come out looking like a dark brown-skinned man, all right? And it says in the Hebrews that he is from, evident that he's from the tribe of Judah, all right? The tribe of Judah are known as the so-called Negroes, all right? Wow. So, the, so if he has woolly hair, dark brown skin, just because he comes, people assume since we're here in America and we were sold out of the west coast of Africa that we can't be from the Middle East, from the land of Israel, all right? But we are those people who have been uh, fled from 70 AD from Roman persecution, went into Africa, and then sold into slavery here in America. So the Lord is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. He, If you saw him on the street, these people out here would call him a nigga, all right? That's what, what the, that? What are you talking about? Who the world only calls Christ, all right? He's That's Yahweh Shah, all right? His name ain't Yeshua, all of that nonsense. Who is God? Who is God? Yeah. Who is God? There's only one God. Okay. Who is God to you? Let me ask you that. Who is God uh, to you? God is only one God. There's only one God, yeah. right? The God of what? Huh? God the, of everyone. The God, right, the God of Israel. The God, the God of, of the no, 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 no. The God of Israel. Okay, well, you guys spoke. You want, you want, you want me to speak? Go ahead, speak. Go ahead, speak. Put your foot in your mouth. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay, so there's one God, right? right. There's, four, there's three religions, right? This ain't about religion, man. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just keep it. It's the book of, you know, the Torah, which is for the Jewish people. The, the back Bible. Up, hey, yo, back up. The camera. Need edification. First of all, when you talk about religion, you have to be angry. Okay. Ain't no more, Ain't no more angry. You're, you're blocking off camera. Okay. Continue, on. Continue on. Continue on. Okay. So there is three religions, right? There is the book, Torah, which is for the Jewish people, and the Bible, for the Christians, and the Quran, for the Muslims. Right? What's the point? Okay. So God is only one God. There is three messengers prophets. Moses, Abraham, Jesus, and Muhammad. Alright, 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 so I gotta I got get into now. Um, so, that, you're saying there's three religion nonsense. First off, people that study the Torah, the Torah, which actually is Tawarah, which means the law. Alright, so the Torah is only the first five books of the Bible. All right, Genesis to Deuteronomy. That's what the real Torah is. Those people that call themselves Jews are not the real Jews, according to the Bible. All right, those people have uh, led people astray to think that Judaism is uh, they pr propagated that wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, but they only go based on. They'll say the most you'll get is the tribe of uh, Judah, which where the word Jew comes from, or Levi. But they don't know where the rest of the ten tribes are. All right, so that's off with their with their uh, nonsense. The Christians, they don't know nothing about the Bible, all right? Those people are so whacked out, all right? The Bible is, uh, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Bible, the word Christians, the word Christian only means anointed, all right? And so the anointed ones are, can somebody give me Isaiah 43? The anointed ones are the children of Israel, all right? 
the uh, you can't be anointed unless you are out of the lineage of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, that's the only way you can be anointed. And that book, the Quran, if you look at the Quran, Second Surat, one verse one hundred and twenty-two, it will tell you that ye children of Israel, I have preferred you over all the nations. Yeah. So even still, even that Quran, which only means to recite. That literally, it's still in that book says the children of Israel are the yeah. prophets. The children of Israel are the chosen people of the Lord. They were the chosen. No, they were. Okay, uh, can somebody give me Romans, what was that, 11 and 1? Uh, a cast away his people? God they forbid. were the chosen ones. Can somebody give me Romans 11 and 1? No, the Lord, ain't no, ain't no word. Are you reading? This is the Holy Bible. Okay, how many versions there is Hold on, real quick, let me, let me get this scripture. It's the book of Romans 11, verse 1. It says, I say then, have God cast away his... Listen up, listen this is Romans 11 and 1. I say then, has God cast away his people? Oh. God forbid. Hell no. So have God got rid of the children of Israel? Have God cast away his people? Hell no, man. He has not. The children of Israel are these people and those scattered abroad. All right? We haven't, he hasn't cast away his people. All right, can somebody give me uh, Malachi uh, 1, I change not? I got it, I got it. That's perfect. It's Malachi. Uh, Three and six, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right, he says, I am the Lord, I am Yahweh, I change not. All right, so he don't, everybody else out here, they change. People change with uh, different gods and different people every day. But the Lord says, I am the Lord, I change not. All right, he doesn't change. So the sons of Jacob, uh, which are the 12 tribes of Israel, he says they are not consumed. All right, one third of these people will not be consumed because he said he doesn't change. He does not cast away his people. So for people to think that the Israelites are no more, that's that's ridiculous. I've never, I've never said that. You just said there. What did, what did you say? You said, said God said, not I, anymore. No, no, no. I said they were the chosen ones. The chosen ones are not the chosen anymore. Is that what you said? I'm not saying they were the chosen ones. I don't know about now, but they were they, the chosen. So ones. So they were the chosen ones. How do you stop being chosen? Because they did a couple of things. That so, God was not against, it was against So of course of course we broke the curses of Okay, so 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 are you Jewish or Christian? We are the real the Jews according to the Bible which are predominantly Judah, Benjamin and Levi. With which the book so are you reading? Which version? This is, the, this is the King James version. Okay, how many versions there is in the Bible? That don't matter. It don't matter, it don't matter because the, 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 the it don't the, matter. Listen, listen. The 1611 King Is that an answer? It you, don't I'm, matter. I'm trying to answer, man. You're not listening. The King James version 1611, all right? Is the the this brother has it right here. That book, it shows all of the prophecies according to the Lord. They've, uh, Esau and the so-called white man has tried to change all of these different yeah. uh, versions. That's why and, there's seven. Okay, so they got all their different versions, but the King James Version is still true to this day, yeah. all right? That's right? It hasn't changed, all right? God. Hey, and, and the scriptures, I mean, make it clear, man. The Most High said that he chose Israel above all nations upon the face of the earth. That's right. And the brother just read to you, and, and what was that, Malachi? Yeah, yeah, in the book, yeah, Malachi, the Lord changed not, man. All right, and in the prophecies, the, and brother brought out in Romans 11, man, okay. had God cast away his people, God forbid, man. So okay. the children of Israel are still the children of, they're still the children of Israel, and they're still the chosen people of the Heavenly Father, That's man. right. They okay. still are, man. The Most High doesn't what about, change. What about, what about the, 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 the Israel people in Israel? Before that's, we continue, that's where's killing. your father from? Huh? Right. Where's your father from? North Africa. <laughs> so you're North African? Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right, just go ahead. What, what was your point? What was your point? Well, no, go ahead. Finish, finish what you were saying. So why, if, if they were the chosen, why are they killing uh, children every day? Of, of these, you saying of these people, of the Israelites are the chosen. Why are they the killing? Israels? The no. Israel. Okay, so Israel, the Jewish people, the Israeli. The Israel. All right. If you put e on the end of something, it means pertaining to. All right. So the Israelites means son of. All right. So the Israeli, those people are not the real Jews according to the Bible. So uh -huh. those people in that land. All right. Can somebody give me Zechariah nine and six? I got it right here. Uh, that was the spirit. This is the book of Zechariah chapter nine verse six. And a bastard. Let's read that one more time. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. All right. So a bastard is going to dwell in that land that they call Israel. All right. They, which is only started in 1948. All right. right. By the ba ba uh, Balfour Declaration. That's right. All right. Those are not the true people of the Lord in that land. They are identity thieves who are over there. Okay. These people were the ones who inhabited that land. Those people there now are they are, they are not the people according to the Lord. Can somebody give me Revelation three and nine? Get two and nine. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter two verse nine. 
I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. All right, so the real Jews, he says, I know thy works. I know the tribulations, the troubles that y'all are going through. In I America. know your works. All right, and he says, um, but thou art rich because they are promised the kingdom of heaven. All right, go ahead. All right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. All right. But are the synagogue of Satan. So the Lord says, I know the blasphemies, which means lies of them that say they are Jews and are not, but they're the synagogue of Satan. Think about who runs these, these uh, major elites, these corporations, the so-called Jewish people, Jewish. The, right, Jewish. Right, exactly. They wish they were Jews. You get me? So, like I said, they got the word Jew from the one tribe, the tribe of Judah. All right? That's the only thing they're working with, man. They not the people. And they show you that they're not the people of the Lord. They do wickedness everywhere. Okay, they got the biggest gay question. pride parade who's, over there. Who, who's Jesus to you? Say that again. Who's Jesus to you? Who, Jesus is this uh, so-called white man on his Caesar Borgia. That's who Jesus is. That's Cesare right Jesus there. Jesus is the devil. All right? Jesus is the devil. He, 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 that's, that's who Jesus is. All right? Don't laugh, brother, because I know religion more than you. It's in our religion. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. He's right. Hey, 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 yo, you don't know shit. <laughs> that's why That's why you keep putting your foot in your goddamn mouth. Yeah. And through the spirit, you a nigga. Yeah. You're not Moroccan. You're not uh, Muslim. You a nigga. Yeah. And we exposing you. And that's why you, you point at the brother and say he don't know the Bible. This guy's one of the smartest men on the face of the earth. You don't know shit, man. Right. First of all, hey. when, when you're a peaceful hey, you man. Grew, no, man. You hey, grew. somebody give me Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. No, when you hey. when, when you clear with the Lord, when hey. you clear with the Lord, See, you have to be like, you, 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 you worried about this? You worried about... No, the Lord, the Lord is an angry man. All right, the Lord is an angry man, man. Let me get you one